Hello guys, welcome to St. Moritz in Switzerland. Look at that! Um, if you watched the last video, I just arrived here. I finished that last video about five minutes ago and my train is there. I'm also just about to get on a train out of here because this is not my final destination today. I've been doing a bit of a, a train trip across Switzerland but I need to be in Italy tomorrow morning. So although this is absolutely beautiful and I'd love to stay here longer, I actually need to get on my train that leaves in 10 minutes time because I'm heading to a new country in the morning. But yeah, a new country which isn't Switzerland or Italy. But we'll get to that. That's the train I just got off for two hours. And th this is the train I'm getting on for two hours back the same way. I will say that this seems like a beautiful place and it's not in my nature to travel this quickly. I would happily spend longer here. If you're watching my videos for the first time or you haven't seen many of them, I would much rather spend a longer time and see these places. But it just so happens that I need to be in Italy by tomorrow and it was like, what can I see on the way? Speaking of, I need to go get on the train. It. That was my final train for the day, which means I'm at my destination for the day, obviously, because that was the final train. Anyway, moving on, I'm in Bux right now, which is right on the eastern tip of Switzerland, and it's right next to the country of Liechtenstein, which is where I'm heading in the morning. I decided to get an Airbnb here for the night, right next to the station, so I'd be ready to go in the morning, and now I just need to find it. To my Airbnb. It's already a bit late, so I'm gonna go to sleep and then wake up early tomorrow morning. I think I could even walk to Liechtenstein. It's, it's close anyway, but I'm gonna wake up early tomorrow morning and go and check out Liechtenstein. Sleep. How cool is this? Some chocolates, appetizer, water, an unreasonably complicated Wi-Fi password. Let's go all. Oh. Ooh, what about that for a morning view? Okay. It's 7 a.m. and I'm back out on the road. I've got, there's a bus going into Liechtenstein in about five minutes. So, I better get moving. Quick change of bus. That bus was about two minutes, by the way. Welcome to Liechtenstein, a new country for me. And yes, it is a country, the fourth smallest country in the world. Apparently, uh, there's like a population of about 38,000 people here. It's landlocked by Switzerland and Austria. And I have about two hours to see it. <laughs> I mean, fortunately, apparently there's not a lot to see. Um, so, you know, if one of those 38,000 don't hold that against me, but I've only got a couple of hours, so I'm gonna try and see what I can. One of the cool things that I've loved about the whole of Switzerland is just snow-capped mountains all around. I love it, I'm not used to it, and it's, uh, yeah, it's amazing to me. It just like gives everywhere this epic feeling. I don't know if you can see behind me, um, somewhere over there, there's a castle on top of the hill. So even though I've got my bags, I'm heading straight to the train station after this. I'm going to try and get up there and see what view I can get. Schloss, that's me. Wow, look at this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is going to be worth it. Made it! Nothing like a brisk climb to wake you up. And look at that. That's worth it. 
in itself. People said there's nothing in Liechtenstein. Look at that view. The castle's behind me, by the way. But I think the view's even better. Yeah, 100% worth it. Uh, it's about quarter past eight now. I need to head back to the train station in about an hour. So I'm gonna do some more walking around. The castle is closed for refurbishment, I've been told. But I'm gonna walk up and just have a quick look anyway, and then head back down. But look at that view! Very passionate about this. Okay, look at this. That's the castle. Oh, look at that. Look at the light. So this morning, my Airbnb host was telling me to maybe skip Liechtenstein because there's nothing there. And she told me about a better place that maybe I could go to. But look at this. There is definitely something here. And it's funny that I think that happens when you live somewhere. She lived in Books her whole life. Uh, she, like, maybe you take for granted that because that is an incredible view and yeah I mean there is definitely something to see in Liechtenstein so next time someone tells you to skip Liechtenstein tell them to lick this stein and go anyway because this is worth it I could actually spend a lot longer up here it's been Oh, I just keep showing you because <laughs> I've been taking loads of photos and just taking it in But I do need to head back down now and in an ideal world. I would have longer to spend here uh, I'm sure there's a lot more to see here But unfortunately, that's not the case because I do need to be in Italy in a few hours time So I need to get back down and head to the train station All Right, here's a thought I'm about to head to the train station now, which means I'm leaving the country of Liechtenstein. In total, I would have been here about two or three hours. Now for you, does that count as visiting a country? I know like different people have different rules. And for me, I wouldn't count like an airport stopover and I wouldn't count just jumping over the border and jumping back or going to the little bit between North and South Korea. Like for me, that doesn't count. But if you have a memory and an experience in the country that you can think back and say, oh yeah, no, I went to North Korea or oh yeah, I went to Liechtenstein. I saw that great castle and I went to the top and I can remember that forever. I would count that, but I'm interested to see what your thoughts are. Obviously, if I did have longer, I would stay longer and I would see more of Liechtenstein and show you more of it. But I think there are certain small countries where it's more okay to just do a day trip or do a day or a weekend and you can see quite a lot of it in that time and I would put Liechtenstein in that bracket but let me know in the comments what you think anyway because it is somewhat of a contentious thing within the whole travel world so yeah I'd love to hear I like I said I'm now heading to the train station this is the high street that people visit by the way but everything's closed it's both Monday at 9 a.m. and it's a public holiday so everything's closed here anyway <laughs> Goodbye Switzerland. I'm in Buchs train station right now, which is right on the edge. And then this train is going to be to Innsbruck and then Innsbruck to Trentino, where I'm going snowboarding. In, honestly, like uh, I, I was working with them in the last video, but Interrail and Eurail, that rail pass where you are able to travel unlimited for Europe has been really useful and I'm using that again now to get to Trentino. I'm going to be there for a week and then I'm going to use it again after that to go somewhere else too. So yeah I mean just the ability to travel so easily through Europe is something I've really enjoyed these past few days. Anyway enough rambling I think my train's coming. Stop. Italy.
And that is it. Welcome to Italy. I've made it to my final stop, which is Trento in like the northeast Trentino area of Italy. This is what I've been leading towards for the past few days and the last couple of videos, and now I've finally made it. I'm gonna be here for the next 10 days. I've got a lot to do, so check back for that because I think there's gonna be a couple of videos coming from here showing you what I'm getting up to in Trentino. But for now, I'll just say again, thank you for watching. If you are interested, by the way, um, because Liechtenstein was a new country this morning, I'm gonna add up the amount of countries I've been to so far and put them all in the description below. So if you wanna go check that out, go have a look. And again, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.